Today we will firstly start with basics of trigonometry which we will encounter in very beginning of class 11 standard. We uh, will be firstly going for the values of different trigonometrical ratios in different quadrants. As you see, first quadrant 0 to 90 degree, second 90 to 180, 180 to 270, third and the fourth one is 270 to 360. This is the quadrant system. We remember a rule add sugar to coffee. A stands for all, S stands for sign, T stands for tan and C stands for cos. So in first quadrant all the trigonometrical ratios sine, cos, tan and their counterparts are positive. That means sine 89 degree, tan 78 degree, cosec 43 degree all in first quadrant will be bearing a positive sign. In the second quadrant sine and its counterpart cosec will be positive and other trigonometrical ratios will be negative. So if somebody is saying you what is the sign of positive or negative of cos 120 degree you will see 120 degree is in second quadrant. So in second quadrant only sine is positive so cos has to be negative. So the value of cos 120 degree will be negative. Same is the case if somebody is telling you to find the value of tan 200 degree. 200 degree is lying in third quadrant and in third quadrant only tan is positive and as we are finding the value of tan 200 degree so it has to be positive. Hope everybody got the concept in which quadrant this thing is going to be positive. Another thing you have to keep in mind is that whenever we are dealing with sine 90 plus theta, sine 90 minus theta or uh, cos 90 plus theta, 90 minus theta, any trigonometrical ratio 270 plus theta, 270 minus theta the trigonometrical ratio changes to its complementary one. That means if we go for sine 90 degree plus theta, it will be cos theta. If we go for tan 90 degree plus theta, it has to change to cot. If we go for sec 90 plus theta, it has to change to cosec theta. If we have to go for 270 plus theta, 270 minus theta, it has to change. Third rule you keep in view is that when we deal with 180 degree plus theta or minus theta, 360 degree plus theta or minus theta, the trigonometrical ratio will remain same. So if somebody is saying you sine 180 minus theta, it will be sine theta only. Tan 180 plus theta, it has to be tan theta only. So now you got the concept how to deal with 90, 270, 180 and 360. Remember 90 to 270, the uh, trigonometrical ratio will change. 180, 360. It will remain same. Now the most important point, the point number four, see here. The sign of the resulting trigonometrical ratio in the case of 90, 180, 270, 360 plus minus theta always taken as that of the parent or original trigonometrical ratio. Just try to understand. <coughs> Suppose I am finding cos 270 plus theta. As it is 270, 
cos has to change to its complementary so it will be sin theta now i have to put whether positive or negative will be in front of sin that will be decided by the rule number four which says it depends on the parent function parent function is cos originally it's cos this is this sign is resultant so look at the parent function 270 plus theta of course it is going to be in fourth quadrant and fourth quadrant is the house of the cos so cos has to be positive so positive sign will be here okay uh, I'm just doing one thing see uh, I have to find sign 120 degree Sin 120 degree can be written as sin 180 minus 60. As I said that in the case of 180 and 360, trigonometrical ratio will remain same. So it is sin, so it will be sin. Sin theta, sin 60 degree. What sin should be in front of the 60 degree is to be decided by rule number four for the position of the parent function. Parent function is sine 120 degree, which is lying in the second quadrant, which is actually the house of the sine also. So it has to be positive. So positive sign will be here. Suppose somebody is telling you to find cos 120 degree. How do you want to proceed? If you just write it cos 90 degree plus 30 degree it can be written as 90 plus 30 or you can write it 180 minus 60 as well okay in both the cases you will get the same answer so cos 90 plus theta is there so according to rule it has to change to its complementary one sine theta now what sign should be there in front of that is to be decided by the location of the parent function cos is the parent function 120 degree that means second quadrant second quadrant is the house of the sign so cos has to be negative don't be get confused by this sign this is the resultant function we have to decide the sign according to the location of the parent or original function as original is cos in the second quadrant it has to be negative hope you people are understanding this basic rule number five says that sine minus theta is minus of sine theta which is known as odd function we will study it in later course of our study and cos minus theta is cos theta that is even function remember this i'm just taking one example of this i have to find the value of sine minus 300 degree according to rule of odd even function i know minus sine 300 degree will be the result minus is coming out sine being the odd function Further, we can give it a treatment. Sine 300 degree can be written as sine 360 minus 60 degree. As we know, in the case of one and, uh, 180 and 360 degree, there isn't any change in the parent function. So, sine will remain sine. So what's going to be sine 60 degree. Now see what will be the sign in front of sine 60 degree positive or negative that will be decided by the location of parent function parent is sine 300 degree. It is lying in the fourth quadrant which is the house of the cos. So sign has to be negative here. So I have to put negative sign here. So what it is ultimately going to be sin 60 degree which we know root 3 by 2 so you can find the values of trigonometrical ratios following these basic 
Moreover, you have seen that 360 degree is coinciding with 0 degree. So I recommend you to take 360 degree as 0 degree. So the multiple of 360 will be considered 0 degree. Suppose I have to find value of sine 750 degree. What is the nearest multiple of 360 here? You will see it is 720 degree. So can I write like this sine 720 degree plus 30 degree for 750 degree. As I recommended you to write the multiple of 360 as 0. So if I write this 0, uh, I'll get sine 30 degree only which we know is 1 by 2. So by following this basic course, you can find the value of any trigonometrical ratio up to any angle. Whatever angle is there, you can find.